Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Canva in order to make your own infographic for the multimodal project. Okay, so step one is obviously going to be to create a Canva account. Um, you can do that through your Google account or any other way you so choose. Just make sure that you make one. <laughs> um, okay, so once you make your free account, um, you'll have access to all the free items available here. So we're on the main screen. Um, we're going to click more. And then we're going to find templates down below for infographics. So depending on what kind of infographic you're going to make will uh, guide what kind of infographic you will select here. So let's say we're going to do informational infographics because I feel like that's what most people will end up doing. Okay, so we have a few things. This one's a data infographic, clearly, so we're not going to use that one. That's for statistics. Um, I'm going to do minimum wage. So I think what I'm going to pick is... Hmm. Whoa, that's crazy looking. That's very unclear to see. Okay, let's just say I pick this one. Okay, my purpose is to educate people on the tipped minimum wage and that it exists um, and what that means. So I'm going to um, change the information that's here. So pretty much anything on here, you can change or replace. Um, so if I wanna change the text, I'm gonna click on it. A bunch of options are going to pop up over here, but also I can go to text here and I can add a text box, I can change the headings, um, I can use certain font combinations. Um, a lot of these I don't think I can use. Oh, I can use that. Oh, because I'm using an education account. Okay, so you can, um, <laughs> you can if you use your Rowan username, apparently you'll get Canva for education, maybe, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I'm just going to change this, right? I'm going to change this tipped minimum wage. Okay, so I decided to go with this. So that way I could, you know, catch some eyes. Maybe I'm going to resize it a little bit. Okay, we'll lower this a little bit more. I think I'm going to flop this actually. Cool. Okay. Um, and then clearly because some adjusting. Okay, and because I'm talking about the tip minimum wage, these graphics don't really make much sense to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it. So to replace it, I can go to elements, and I can find little graphics that I can add in here, or I can add photos that you can search through here. So I'm going to just do elements for now because I don't really want this. I think maybe I'll do a cocktail. or money, that's a better idea. If I click and drag, so I'll delete this. Yeah. I'm gonna delete, ooh! Delete those. Awesome, so now I have this little image. I think that looks nice. I do like the colors. I might try to make this a little more accessible. So I'm gonna make it a little darker. So maybe if I go like a, maybe I'll change the background to a lighter green. Yeah, that's better, that's easier to see. Um, and then I'll change this to, mm, I 
that's probably good. A nice navy blue. Um, and I'll change this to like a really dark green. Cool. So now I have this, these colors. Um, all right. So then when I move on to my text, the things I'm going to include here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show you how to do the background. Basically, I just clicked on the background element. I click this color button. And then you can kind of change from there. Um, it tries to kind of give you smart colors associated with the images that are on here. Um, and you can also do gradient colors, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to keep it, maybe I'll do like a yellow, like a really, really light yellow. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, yeah, really light yellow. Very nice. All right. So then I'll change the other ones like that. Um, if you wanted to add a photo, I would say maybe a server. Yeah, let's say I wanna add these folks. You just kind of click and drag it. You can move it around. You can add frames to it. You can, here, I'll make this bigger so we can see it. Uh, if we want to change the order, so we see how some of the text is there, you're going to right click or you can click this guy. Where is it? Layer. <laughs> okay, so it's layer and then I'm going to say bring to front. So that way it's in front of everything. Then when you edit photo, you can add things to it. You can auto focus. So it'll make like the people in focus probably. Um, we're just going to undo that because it's taking forever. Okay. Yeah. See it, it blurred out the other stuff and it kind of brought them forward. Um, I can also add shadows. Normally. Huh. Unless it hates me. Now those are filters effects. I don't know. There is a way to add like a like a drop shadow to it, which you can do. I'm just not seeing it right now for some silly reason. I'm sure. Anyway, um, more or less, as long as you play around with this, you should be good. Um, follow the instructions for the information that you're going to put on there and everything will work out just fine. All right. Oh, if to export it, once you're finished with this, you're going to click the share button. Do not share it with me. Don't add me as an access. Don't give me a collaboration link. What I want you to do is download it. And you're going to make sure that you download it as PDF print, which is going to be your best. Um, you can do that or standard. Either way, it'll work. And then hit download. And then you'll attach it on Canvas to the assignment itself. Make sure that your title up here is the name of something that makes sense, or at the very least that when you like download it and upload it, that it's, it's easy to see. Um, and that's it. If you want to make this longer, um, you can add a, another page. 